Greetings everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host Mr. Mocha Lover and I do have some bad news. As you can tell from the title, this is the final episode in this campaign. As you can tell from the length of this video, it's not unusually long or normally long. It's fairly shorter than normal because the game keeps crashing. Alright, so it's about 17th hour, April 19th, 2282. If I go and like go ahead in time for three days to get to like April 22nd the game crashes constantly I actually even played yesterday's entire campaign episode uh, and I still crashed and I didn't even get to April 2282 I didn't even get to the year 18 2282 so unfortunately this is a final episode I do apologize for that I would have loved to make all of the wasteland and Kapistan but it just I don't know what's going on the mod keeps crashing I'm not sure it's happening with my other mods but at least for this one it's unfortunate that we have to end the campaign here, but I will say a few things first. First of all, I think we did really, really well because we pretty much have all of Texas under us except for the Alamo chapter, which would have been super easy to take out. At this point, it would just be us taking out the rest of the wasteland, and yeah, I really enjoy the Texan Arms Association, but we're not done with the focus tree, and I already have the the console command focus .autocomplete enabled just so we can read about the rest of the story. Establish a base of operations. A plane is in its best element when it's cruising through the sky, dropping ordnance or supplies on target, but it can't stay up there forever. It's integral to our air force that we provide them with a host of well-furnished and capable air bases. Followed with ground air defense. While we build up our fledgling air force, we will quickly be overrun by enemies who have a much more extensive fleet of planes as a stopgap to curb enemy air superiority. Fortified anti-air positions will be built around the whole of our territory. Followed with research better designs. Quantity can only take us so far when it comes to the war in the skies, while biplanes may be serviceable for bullying tribals. They'll find themselves entirely useless when pitted up against jets in light of this specific focus. We'll be put on new and innovative aircraft designs. Well, with constructing new shipyards. While we have the will and desire to form a navy, we lack the complex facilities needed to actually put functional ships in the ocean. To remedy our naval shortcomings, we've drawn up plans for a series of modern shipping, shipbuilding facilities. Raise electricity from the river. Running water is a veritable hotbed of potential electricity. And while we can't construct something as complex as a hydroelectric dam, we can assemble a series of water mills on the river's coast. Followed by construct New Vegas, or new, not New Vegas, but New Villages, with Marlurks, apparently. The Rio is one of the safest bodies of water in Texas to fish from in terms of how irradiated the fish are. By settling scores of Texans down and freshly constructed fishing villages, we can start a sustainable increase of our grip on the industry. Now we actually get Nuevo Laredo as a core, Rancho Prospero as a core, as well as Armageddon Estacion. Oh, that's really awesome. And big and bright. We may not have been born deep in the heart of Texas, but we are one of the brightest stars in the night sky, having come a long way from being a few gun barons squatting across the river from our previous overlords. We've built something of a world for ourselves. A land that stretches from bank to shining bank. The name Texas Arms Association doesn't really cut the bill anymore, so... Lovely Todd Howitzer has deemed it necessary to rename our organization as the South Texan League. Not even sure why we call ourselves the South Texan League anymore. Oh, look at us. We're basically all of Texas and Louisiana. We might not have the Alamo under us, but you know, hey, it is what it is, and that's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, I think we've done really, really well in this, uh, this campaign. I did ask you guys whether or not we should do, like, put, like, you know, support companies under tanks and such. And I guess we won't really be able to because the game keeps crashing. So I do apologize for that. I really do apologize. Which means, hopefully someday I will come back and play as a TAA. Actually, that's not a bad thing. Bad thing. I will come back someday, play as a Texas Arms Association, and not peace out early with the Republic of the Rio Grande. I don't know when I'll play as them, but the South Texan League of the TAA is a really fun, interesting, and Capistan nation to play as. If you haven't ever played as them, I highly recommend it. But unfortunately, like I said, this is a final episode. If you like this, like this tiny, small, short episode compared to my other videos, consider leaving a like. Maybe subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow in a mod, or maybe this mod. And hopefully it won't crash. Thanks for watching and have a tremendous rest of your day.